All right. So, here's the truck. No damage, no nothing. Ran real fucking good. I'm actually really happy with this truck, the way it is, the way it's set up. Really happy with it. Um, for what it is. Being a little four-cylinder, which this motor's actually about the same as what my last motor was, so I'm not going to complain. And it's actually, and this motor's smaller than my last one. Um, the only thing I'm going to change on the truck the next time I go out with it being a four cylinder. I got four leafs back here. I'm gonna take this bottom one out for sure and possibly the next one above it. Um, and then on the left rear, I'm gonna take the bottom one out. And hopefully that will allow me to when that that'll help my cornering hopefully um that um and i might add some weight i don't know as far as that goes this is the rear end out of my old truck damn wind and you can see there's only three leafs there oh, there actually might be and there's three leafs here so, but that rear end came out of my old race truck, which had a 4.0 V6. This is just the 2.5 four cylinder. So I'll probably pull two out and then I'll just have two. I'm not really sure just yet. Yesterday's issues. Had a 26 on the front. The only 27 I had was on the right rear. Point the camera where I'm looking talking about um 27 right rear 26 is all the way around went out for hot laps it pushed like a freight train in the corner um i was running 20 pounds on all four corners it pushed in the push going into the turn middle of the turn the rear end started coming out by the time i would exit the rear end wanted to come completely out and around um, and I just, yeah, the track was kind of slimy, wet, uh, as the night went on, it dried out, um, but we took the right rear, dropped it down to 15 pounds, and we took the right front off and put a 27 on, so the right side, the whole right side of the truck has a 27 inch tire on it, the left side has 26, um, the right front was 20 pounds. The left side, I left at 20 pounds. Uh, the right rear, I dropped down. After the hot laps, I dropped down to 15 pounds. Went out for my heat race. Um, only twice did I uh, mess up coming out of the turns, but I think what that was is um, I got up too high, got out of the groove, where this truck was light where this truck was really liking it i got a little bit too high coming out of the turn and that two times other than that perfect come back in the track the track was actually like i said the track was drying out and it was actually the track was actually coming into the setup of the truck that we had in, in the truck um Went out for, so we, I didn't change anything. I didn't add fuel, didn't add, did do anything with the tires, nothing. Left everything, pulled in, left everything the way it was, went and watched racing. Went out for the feature. Fired right off, no problem whatsoever. In line, ready to go out on the track, idled there, no problem, perfect this could be. No issues, no signs, no issues, no nothing. Just about ready to drop into the track. All of a sudden, it falls flat on its face. I have my foot to the floor, and I'm probably doing 10 miles an hour. It's cutting in and out like nobody's business. Um, I tried shifting the truck. I don't know why. I was just tr trying to fit, you know, I was messing around with the fuel pump, thinking the fuel fuel pump wasn't on the fuel. So I was flipping the switch on the fuel pump. That's working. 
you know that you know that was working at the time um got into turn one and i noticed that it was starting to try and shut off um it was spitting and sputtering and then all of a sudden it started jolting you know lunging and trying to shut off went ahead and then of course they came over the radio told you know truck number three aka me you know if you can't can't get up to speed pull it into the infield well i pulled into the infield and they dropped the green flag and that was my feature race after i turned the truck completely off after the race was over tried to fire i had nothing it wasn't clicking it wasn't trying to turn over there was no noise no nothing i had had the fuel pump on which powers my transponder underneath that hole right there allows me to see when my transponder's on because my transponder will flash green so that was on that that light was flashing turn my ignition my gauges light up those came on you hit the button nothing happened so that's we tried multiple times at the track couldn't get it to fire got it home pushed it off the trailer to into the garage tried to hit it nothing i for pure stupidity i put it on my little trickle charger and if you're a race car driver or even if you have a little lawnmower go get you one of those those are awesome and they're lifesavers. Plug them in, put them on your battery, and walk away. They maintain the battery, so this way when you need them, it's there. But now, guess what? Flip my fuel on. after letting the battery charge all night so i'm hoping and praying i don't have an alternator issue or something along those lines um because i'm trying not to put money into this truck for the simple fact is one i'm am trying to sell it and two two I, you know it, it's supposed to be done relatively cheap you know i i'm not going out you know this this class is you know you uh, the at most prize money is two hundred dollars so i'm trying not to spend a whole lot of money on this truck to go race so it's one of those deals pull this out so get this started and all my terminals were tight see tight this won't probably move because i just loosened nope still tight all right put that up there before it drops in the motor all right, we're loose now. Let's try this again. For fuel pump. Key. Got my lights. Fire dried up. Yep, alternator shot. Nice. So, need a new alternator. Well, looks like Rock Auto's gonna love me because they're gonna be getting some more of my money. I should probably ask a Rock Auto for a sponsorship. If anybody works at Rock Auto, look me up. Give me a call. Shoot me an email. I got a whole entire truck. I can just slap Rock Auto on it wherever you want. I'd even throw your... I'd even... 
throw rock auto on it for an alternator that is how desperate i am and how cheap i want to keep this truck so <laughs> well looks like alternator it is that was a quick diagnostics now that for sure is going to be my crappy wiring job see crappy wiring job oh well it's a race truck who cares all right guys that's the update um on the truck situation from last night uh may 23rd uh did run it at hilltop speedway so uh get on facebook look up hilltop speedway in millersburg ohio they have videos of the race um on their facebook page so get on there take a look it does have all the classes um, they had modifieds, mod lights, mini stocks, and then the truck class. They had all the classes. If you want to watch just my class, um, both videos, if you go to literally the last six minutes of each video, that's roughly when the truck class starts. So, or you can sit there and watch the whole duration, however you want, whatever. But uh, next race... It's going to be at Goods Raceway in Deerfield, Ohio. If I can find another alternator relatively cheap, um, it will be at Goods Raceway. Uh, be June thirteenth. So the truck, the next race, the truck will be heading to that racetrack um, after June thirteenth. I can't tell you if I, you know, where I'm racing after that. There's a guy that is interested in buying the truck, so it all depends on that, all and and every and, and how that all goes. So, all right, guys, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. Thank you to all the veterans that served and are currently serving. Without you guys, pretty much. I won't be able to do this. So thank you all for that, and y'all enjoy your weekend. Bye.